What's up YouTube, this is C6 Derivative, and I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to defeat the second boss in Deus Ex, Elena Fedorova. I hope that this will help you in your conquest against her, because I know this is a very difficult boss. I think it was actually more difficult than Barrett for me, even though I had more weapons and ammunition. I'm not going to re-record this, because my uh, program just hasn't been working lately, which is why I have uh, had fewer productions as I would like. And so, um... Anyways, the way I approached this were, was in a couple different ways. Uh, first, I went around and opened all these lockers around the outside of the room. Because these lockers contain some really valuable stuff. If you have a revolver, if you have a shotgun, if you have anything that's close range and explosive, uh, it's going to help you out a lot. I prefer the shotgun to the revolver because it has that spread. The revolver, if you miss it, you miss it, and that's it. Uh, there are a few keys to taking her on. The first one is you don't want to let her get away from you. Uh, if you let her get away from you, you uh, you you just are gonna lose her forever. Cause it's pretty hard to run around and find her, especially since she's recharging the whole time. So every second you waste just looking for her is gonna be a second that she's recharging. The second she's not, you're not gonna be able to get her. Another very important thing is before you even enter this mission, you need to pick up that heavy assault rifle. Because I I know if you might have not have enough room for it, it's a big thing, and the ammo takes up a lot of space. But you need it. It is essential for this uh, for this boss because it just gives you so much more to work with. The thing takes up so many rounds. It can really pump some lead into her. And also around here, it's a grid spray weapon. So you're able to take her out. Like you're not able to take her out, but you're able to get a few bullets on her, and that prevents her from charging a little bit longer. And as I said earlier, every second counts. So what I'm doing right now is I believe she's attacking me. It's hard to tell because this program that I have, Adobe Premiere Elements 4 now, because I used to have 9, but it stopped working on my laptop, so I'm up in an upstairs computer on 4. Uh, it's just a terrible program. Never buy it if you ever consider you doing YouTube videos. But right now, I believe I'm showing you how to go around this map a little bit. Uh, the interior is where you want to stay most of the time, unless you're going to uh, set up an EMP trap. Some of the lockers have EMP mines, and those are really useful for taking her out uh, because it pauses uh, her motion. Uh, I think, yeah, and that might be what I'm showing right there. And you can just get a bunch of rounds into her um, without having to deal with her. Uh, another thing is that you want to stay on the inside because that uh, little blast attack she has, uh, you can avoid that very easily on the inside by playing Green Ground the Rosie with her. What I mean by that is those inside panels, those interior panels, you can just run around them in circles and pause a little bit at the edge and when she stops to go and blow up, you can turn around and, and, uh, and I guess it, the screen blocks the sh blast from you. So you don't take that much damage, if any, and you uh, continue to be able to attack her later on after she runs out of her three charges. So this is, whoa, uh, this is really hard to comment over because this is just so bad of a program. I cannot see a thing. So... I think I'm attacking her with a heavy machine gun right now. That looks like it, it looks like what I'm doing with it just jumping around on me. Uh, the heavy machine gun, as I said earlier, you need to go ahead and get that. Uh, there's an extra ammo box in one of the lockers. If you need even more ammo, they give you like 250 in the left room right before the entrance. So you shouldn't be that bad on ammo. But, but it's really useful. The only problem is, is when you get into situations like that that just happened. I believe something just happened like that where she takes out her two submachine guns and starts wailing on you. Uh, the big problem with the heavy machine gun is it takes that time to uh, rev up, and that amount of time is not enough time in Give Me do Deus Ex to prevent her from doing it. You can die, pretty much. I died a few times just because the gun wouldn't go ahead and shoot her. And so, so that's the only drawback of using that heavy. Uh, I finish her off with the actual combat rifle, the normal one, because I got tired of having to deal with that. Uh, I don't recommend it though, because it doesn't have the largest eclipse unless you have extended mags, and even then, it just isn't high enough damage, high enough spray, like, you run out of bullets really quickly, and it takes up a lot of inventory space to have more than, what, 150 bullets? So, I, I just, uh, overview, I guess, uh, make sure you stay in the center, run around those rings to make sure you don't get attacked by her, Look in the lockers for EMP mines, extra ammo, extra guns, and make sure you're getting her when uh, when you can, when she's not able to attack you. That's a big key in defeating her. 
I think I'm about to take her out right now because I see the combat rifles out, and I know that's when I got her down, I think. And so, uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and favorite, and I'll see you when I release the new video.